It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, as you can see, we have a mean lineup here. Put it in sand. Okay. Look at that DPS. Holy. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are putting our Hall of Fame overpowered slash insta kill weapons against one of the strongest bosses in modded Terraria, and that is Ek Death. Now, Ek Death is a super strong boss that can survive most extremely overpowered weapons and can also kill you in god mode, which is pretty insane. So we're about to see, you know, what Hall of Fame weapons we've checked out in our past. Can Terraria bosses survive these weapon series? And we got a good couple here. Now, obviously, I had a criteria of did these weapons kill Calamity bosses and pretty much jump over all the obstacles that I wanted to see them jump over. And we have a pretty good selection. I might throw the Infinity gauntlet in here uh, because that was the weapon that started off the series so you know that's just like you know a nostalgia thing gotta gotta throw in the infinity gauntlet from thorium so let's go ahead and do that we could test this one out last too don't worry about it until then but yeah as you can see we have a mean lineup here we have both the tome of greater manipulation and the black hole tome both from the juiced mod after that we have the black hole pickaxe from rebs mod this pickaxe literally sends things to the void and then we got the sword of the multiverse the best sword in the universe of swords mod and people are like game raiders it's a material well i'm about to prove a bunch of fools wrong right here because some people were just straight up saying there's a stronger sword well guess what you see what it's a material for oh it's just a material for a bunch of chests harvesters next up after that we got the ender prism i made sure to choose the one that shoots 100 beams this was just a great prism type weapon and it accomplished a lot in the video that i used it in and last but not least we got the true iron short sword and last but last but not least that we just threw in just for nostalgia's sake the gauntlet the weapon that started the whole series but yes ek death let's go ahead and grab all these and let's get to it uh i might put them in a certain order here l l i'm gonna put them in a certain order just because you know uh, I want to save the best for last or at least some of the cooler ones for last so l let me make an order here all right so fighting Ek death obviously we got to be a little careful because he could kill us even if we're in god mode so we got to be very very careful uh here's the order of weapons that, is that an eyeball here's the order of weapons I have here black hole tome black hole pickaxe true iron short sword sword of the multiverse ender prism tome of greater manipulation and then the gauntlet is just gonna be last no matter what but yeah let's go ahead and test out our first one here the black hole tome does ek death spawn on the left or the right i think i'm pretty sure it's always the left so let's spawn it in and then black hole tome okay black hole tome off to a good start ek death growing gigantic i'm pretty sure ek death can like just grow to the size of the screen if you let it and you know oh fuck this <laughs> is i didn't know there was multiple phases uh it's all good it's all good just don't kill me. I mean, I think we're holding it at bay. <gasps> is it dead? The screen is still shaking, but I think I think we killed it. I don't know. Is it still over here in this area somewhere? No, I, I don't see it anymore. The screen is just like permanently shaking though. But I'm gonna consider that a success. I didn't know Ek Death breaks blocks. I didn't know there was a second phase. Honestly, surprising. Ek Death is still new to this series. We've only seen it for like three or four episodes. So like, uh, honestly, this this is just is weird is weird <laughs> i think i had to relog the world for the shit to stop shaking so i think the reason why it really couldn't touch is because the black hole tome if you guys have not seen this weapon before it kind of just like sucks in enemies into the black hole and kind of just like keeps them there keeps them at bay and once they reach the center i believe that's when they get insta killed or take a lot more damage so it, it might have been hard with Egg Death given its size, but you know, I consider that a W. It didn't kill me, so it has to be a W. Next up, the Black Hole Pickaxe. I'm honestly interested to see how this is gonna go because the Black Hole Pickaxe, if you hit something with it, it legit it just vanishes. Uh, for example here, if I hit the Queen Bee, gone so i'm assuming this is gonna work if ek death took a l to the reality stone and just vanish and turn into a bubble you would assume that this would work too i just had to start swinging yes sir there we go we're two of two in the hall of fame weapons you know there's a reason why these weapons are in the hall of fame next up we got the true iron short sword a very very plain and boring weapon but a very lethal one at that go ahead and spawn in something like the duke boom 
dashes into me, he's dead right away. But we have seen weapons that instant kill not work on Ek Death. At least we've seen like one or two of them, given again that Ek Death has only been here for like three or four episodes. But let's see if this weapon can kill Ek Death. Let's see. Oh my god. It even said the message at the bottom. I think that's like the most complete kill we've seen. We're three of three in killing Ek Death. This is insane. Next up, Sword of the Multiverse. Get ready. Yes, it's gonna play that noise every time we swing it. Uh, I may have to run this time. Let me get up a little bit higher. Uh, I feel like I'm a little too low to run. Let me get up higher and uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we got some resistance here. And we take our first L. I mean, it was bound to happen eventually, right? So I am in God mode. If you guys haven't seen Act Death before, I am in God mode and I am dead. So I had to relog the world. All right, so we took our first L, our first Hall of Fame weapon. Uh, it's sad to see. The Sword of Multiverse, honestly, I had a lot of confidence that this was gonna succeed. I don't know, it just, it's a charming weapon. It shoots out a bunch of projectiles. The fact that it couldn't even touch Ek Death again just shows Ek Death's power. Uh, how many times am I going to say Ek Death this episode? Take a shot every time. If you're not of legal age to be drinking alcohol, take a shot of water. At least stay hydrated. All right, next up is the Ender Prism. This is another weapon that I have a lot of confidence and faith in. Uh, let's see all 100 beams. This is 100 beams, right? Don't even have an animation after a while. They're, they're just kind of just beams now. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Ek Death, meet the Ender Prism. Okay not really working i bet we can outrun act death uh okay maybe not <laughs> we're still shooting the beams though we're dead and we're shooting the beams this is kind of cool all right so that's another weapon from the hall of fame that took an l we are now what three for five i feel like the numbers are all wrong i, I don't go to school but we've tested five weapons only three of them have worked two of them have taken an l we're on to our eighth weapon here that's a damn lie this is only this is the sixth weapon see i told you i didn't go to school tome of greater manipulation now this one a lot of people have told me about the tome of greater manipulation and a secret weapon do you know what that secret weapon is well i'm looking at it right here sand people have been spamming me non-stop on videos with ek death or i guess just the ken Turi, your boss's survive series ever since ek death was introduced put ek death under sand put ek death under sand ek death died if you suffocate it with sand i know i read the comment a bunch of times and we're gonna test separately here uh killing ek death with not only just sand but killing ek death with just you know the right click from the tome of greater manipulation uh let me go to a very sandy area this is really sandy as you can tell there's a storm and let's spawn ek death here grab him and put him in the sand uh is this not the right type of sand? I, I don't know. This is what people told me to do, wasn't it? Since this is this doesn't seem to be working, maybe it's not the right type of sand. Uh, let me just you know hold Act Death and then hold down the right click. Oh, look at that! Act Death died from the Greater Tome of Manipulation just by holding the right click. You know, this is a very very strong weapon. Shout out to Juice because this may be like the strongest weapon of all time in this series. But maybe it wasn't sandy enough. I don't know. Here, I'll go over here. This is a lot more sandy. And let's try again. Uh. Maybe this sand? Uh, I don't know. This is, this is a lot of sand. I'm putting them under. I'm not, I'm not getting anything here. Maybe I got to read the comments again. Is there a certain way they want me to do this? I don't know. What the fuck? Okay, that was a very interesting kill. I kind of want to see it again. If I kill it under sand. See, that, I'm not really killing it with sand then at this point. It's sort of killing it with the right click. That's not really sand. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me read the comments again. All right, as we can see here. There's a lot of people telling me to put it in the sand with the Toma manipulation. Uh, you should use the Toma Greater Manipulation on Ek Death. With it. he is on the desert floor or drop sand on him. Uh, very good phrasing there. You sand and Tom to kill Ek Death. Okay, I gotta find somebody named Tom. Best way to kill Ek Death, use Toma Greater Manipulation and hold it in deep sand and it will kill very easily. That's what I was doing. But I think what most people mean to say is drop sand or drop silt you know falling blocks on top of ek death but i had a lot of people also telling me to just grab ek death with the tome and put it in sand so uh I, we can understand where the confusion is coming from but yeah let's go ahead let's hop back in the game and try dropping sand on ek death so what i'm assuming is if we leave it in the floor ek death can't move that that's what i'm assuming uh we're about to see i'll, I'll take a sand gun out too I, I really don't know how we're about to do this so boom there's ek death grab it put it in sand okay 
Uh, okay, I figured out the strat. It might have uh, destroyed a majority of my world, but I figured out the strat. Get him in a phase two, put him under the sand, and look what happens. There you go. Act death and our new secret OP weapon, Falling Sand. You know, Falling Sand is actually really strong. I find myself taking a lot of damage from it. Uh, same thing with silt and like I feel like I don't even notice it. Yeah, there you go There's that glad I accomplished that as you can see the testing took a serious toll on the world Don't worry. I have a world backup last but not least of the gauntlet of course the gauntlet the weapon that started it all look at that dps holy <laughs> the weapon that started it all the infinity gauntlet from the thorium mod let's let's see if it at least brings act death to one health because if it brings act death to one health that means we take out another weapon and we shoot act death let's, let's use the ender prism that, that'll be our backup weapon all right let's let's do it boom and i fucking went the wrong way i feel like i've logged into this world like 50 times recording this video all right act death boom i killed myself it did put ek death into its second phase though which is very very interesting i don't know if it's still alive <laughs> oh <laughs> that scared the shit out of me okay i think he actually did despawn but uh you know i'll consider that a w for the gauntlet it gets it to one health the gauntlet also kills me so since it kills me i don't die to ek death meaning that i get to actually fight ek death if i do respawn you just gotta kind of be ready for it but like i consider that a w so you know out of what is this five six seven weapons five of them were actually able to kill it shit hold up grab a piece of sand put that in here shit six weapons were able to kill egg death that's not too bad but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out all the mods including the fargo's dlc mod which adds in egg death of course the juice mod that adds in these tomes rebs mod that adds in the black hole pickaxe broken copper short sword mod that adds in the true iron short sword vanilla terraria that adds in the sand block the gauntlet from thorium the ender prism from ender sword and the sword of the multiverse from the universe of swords mod make sure to check all that out but yeah thank you guys for watching we will be continuing our kentori bosses survive overpowered weapons very very soon like i said we might have some filler episodes with not insta kill weapons but very very strong weapons so i'll see you guys when that comes back up i also am working on a big video or less of a big video more of a video that's gonna take a lot of time let's just say there's gonna be a hundred days involved that's all i can say for now okay i'll see y'all next time follow my twitch please